Mathematics 01. Multiplication is repeated addition. Objective. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to show the relationship between multiplication and addition. Multiplication is repeated addition. 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 equals 12. Multiplication. 4 times 3 equals 12. Multiplication means putting things together in an equal number of groups. The numbers to be multiplied are called factors. 4 times 3 equals 12. 4 and 3 are called factors. Product is the answer in the multiplication. 12 is called the product. X is the symbol for multiplication. Example. Mary prepared five plates of cupcakes. Each plate has three cupcakes. How many cupcakes are there in all? Questions. How many groups were there? There are five groups. How many cupcakes were there in each plate? There are three cupcakes in each plate. How many cupcakes were there in all? There are 15 cupcakes in all. In addition sentence, it is 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 equals 15. 5 groups of 3 is 15. 5 times 3 is 15. In multiplication sentence, it is 5 times 3 equals 15. There are 4 trays of eggs. Each tray has 6 eggs. How many eggs are there in all? How many groups are there? There are 4 groups. How many eggs are there in each tray? There are 6 eggs in each tray. How many eggs are there in all? There are 24 eggs in all. In addition sentence, it is 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6 equals 24. In multiplication sentence, it is 4 times 6 equals 24. There are 3 baskets of apples. Each basket has seven apples. How many apples are there in all? Questions How many groups are there? There are three groups. How many apples are there in each basket? There are seven apples in each basket. How many apples are there in all? There are 21 apples in all. In addition sentence, it is 7 plus 7 plus 7 equals 21, in multiplication sentence, it is 3 times 7 equals 21. For the first example, by adding 2 plus 2 plus 2, we get 6. We're going to add up a batch of 2s. To put this in multiplication sentence, let's put 2 here, and how many 2s are we going to add up? 3. Let's put 3 here. In multiplication sentence, it is 3 by 2, which is equal to 6. In our second example, we have 5 plus 5, which is equal to 10. We're going to add up a batch of 5s. To put this in multiplication sentence, let's put 5 here, and how many 5s are we going to add up? 2. Let's put 2 here. In multiplication sentence, it is 2 by 5 and we get 10. Third example is 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4, which gives us 20. We're going to add up a batch of 4s. Let's put 4 here, and how many 4s are we going to add up? 5. Let's put 5 here. In multiplication sentence, it is 5 by 4, and we get the product of 20. 3 by 4 is equal to what number? One way to interpret this is to say that there are 3 groups of 4s. So, we could say that this is equal to 4 plus 4 plus 4, which is equal to 12. Just out of curiosity, what do you think is the answer to 4 times 3? One way to interpret this is to say that there are four groups of threes. So, we could say that this is equal to 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3, which is also equal to 12. Pause the video and interpret this. Are you ready? 5 by 6 is equal to what number? One way to interpret this is to say that there are five groups of sixes. So, we could say that this is equal to 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6 which is equal to 30. Next, 6 by 5 is equal to what number? One way to interpret this is to say that there are 6 groups of 5s. So, 
we could say that this is equal to 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5, which is also equal to 30. Always remember 3 and 6 are called factors. These are the numbers to be multiplied. The first factor is how many times you add the second factor. Practice exercises, get your pencil and paper. Try this on your own. Very good.